This is question number seven. It says the first four terms in ascending powers of x of a binomial expansion of 1 plus kx to the n are 1 plus ax plus bx squared plus bx cubed and so on and so forth, where k is a positive constant and a, b and n are positive integers. In part a for four marks, it says by considering the coefficients of x squared and x cubed, show that 3 is equal to the quantity n minus 2 multiplied by k. In the formula book, we're given the expansion of 1 plus x to the n. So if we write this out, 1 plus x to the power of n will be equal to 1 plus n multiplied by x plus n multiplied by n minus 1 multiplied now by x squared. We divide by 2 factorial, which is just 2, plus n multiplied by n minus 1 multiplied by n minus 2 multiplied by x cubed divided by 3 factorial, which is just 6, plus dot, 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 and so on and so forth. So let's look at using that here. It's important to see here now that b and b, they're the same, so the terms in x squared and x cubed are the same. So let's just write out the expansion, 1 plus kx to the n. That's going to give me now 1 plus n kx. Then we're going to have plus n multiplied by n minus 1, multiplied by kx squared, which is going to give me k squared x squared. We divide by 2 factorial, 2 factorial is 2, plus n multiplied by n minus 1, multiplied by n minus 2, multiplied by kx, which we need to cube, which is going to give me k cubed x cubed. And that now is going to be over 3 factorial, which is 6. So this now is going to give me the first four terms in the expansion. So we can say now that b and b are the same, so these two will be equal. So what I'm going to do is state, therefore, from here now, that n multiplied by n minus 1 multiplied by k squared over 2 is going to be equal to n multiplied by n minus 1 multiplied now by n minus 2 multiplied by the k cubed over 6. We can see automatically from this now the n minus, and just change it, let's change that over, we'll change colour. We can see now that some of these are going to cancel, so we'll have the n with the n, we'll have the n minus 1 with the n minus 1. We will have the squared term now just completely getting rid of that, and that leaves us on here, and I'll just write it out. We've got on here now that 1 half is equal to n minus 2 multiplied by k divided by 6. So from this, we can say that 3 is equal to n minus 2 multiplied by k by multiplying both sides of the equation by 6. So that's how we do it. You don't have to write this out. This is given in the formula book. I've just now set it up like so. So we've done the first part for 4 marks. It says, given that a is equal to 4, so we can say this right here, nk is equal to 4, in part b, find the value of n and the value of k for 4 marks. So if we look here, we're told that a is equal to 4. So this term right here is going to be 4. So what we can say then from here now that nk, and I'll write it just here, we can say now that nk is equal to 4. So at this stage now, I've got simultaneous equations. I'm going to call this one equation 1 and this one equation 2. So if we look at it from here, what I could do is simply write that k is equal to 4 over n, or we could write that n is equal to 4 over k. I'm going to write that k is equal to n over 4. So what we're going to have now is 3 is equal to n minus 2, and then we're going to have from this now 4 over n. So from this, I'm just going to write k is equal to 4 over n, and then we're going to multiply through. So that's going to give me now 3n is equal to 4n minus 8. So from here, adding 8 and subtracting 3n, 8 is going to be equal to n. We can substitute in here. We know that k is equal to 4 over n. So from this, we can write that k is going to be equal to 4 over 8, and k is going to be equal to to one half. So we found n and k, we're given on here the value of a, so for finding n and k we're offered the four marks.